What is up guys, it's Swift coming at you with a special video. This one is a little bit different because it's not game related. Well, you could actually six degrees of Kevin Bacon it back to the Walking Dead game, but ultimately it's about Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 3. Where do I fucking start, okay? What the fuck were you guys thinking? This episode is fucking terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. After the first two episodes, I thought this might be the best season ever, and I thought season one was great. Season two was a little slow, but still a good season. Very good for character development. But season three, episode one and two were pretty awesome, okay? There was a few questions here and there, like how the fuck did a full Riot Gear bodyguard get become get turned into a zombie? I don't know. Did he get bitten in the wrist or the arm? I don't know. But who cares? That wasn't a big deal. <sighs> episode three. Where do I fucking begin here, okay? I Let me first say that I've been waiting all week to find out how Herschel's doing, how Rick's group is doing, how's the prison going, what about the two guys that got locked in the other cell block, do they become a part of the group? I've been thinking about these things, I've been waiting for these things, I've been working every day, doing homework, bullshit like that for a tire, an entire week, and I've been thinking, what is going to happen on The Walking Dead? Well, guess what? We don't fucking know, because we waited a week to find out how the fuck Andrea and Mashawn are doing for an entire fucking hour, okay? The whole time the episode's going, every time a commercial ends, I'm thinking, okay, now it's time to get back to the group that actually matters. To the group I actually fucking care about. To the people that I want to learn about. To find out how Herschel's doing. No. Every time they bring you back to Pleasantville and this bullshit with Andrea and Mashawn. And let me get this out of the way first. I like Andrea. She's a badass bitch. I like Michonne. She's an even badder ass or bitcher, okay? Whatever I just said, whatever, okay? She's badass. Both of them chicks are badass. They're great. They're cool characters. But the whole storyline they're wrapped up around in right now is fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. For one, it's terrible. And for two, as much as I like Andrea and Michonne, I don't want to see them for an hour. I don't want to see them for an entire fucking hour. If you're going to put them in there that long, merge them with the people in the fucking prison, okay? Or at least put some kind of update in the episode, something. There was not one fucking second of anything about the prison and those characters. You're going to leave it at a dead stop right there where Lori's about to have a baby, Herschel's about to fucking die, who fucking knows what's going on with those two prisoners, what the fuck is going on, we don't know, and we've been waiting to find out, and we couldn't. So, horrible fucking episode. And now let me first explain, not just because it's only Andrea and Michonne, but like I said, the storyline for the whole fucking thing is trash. Episode starts. There's a helicopter in the sky. And we don't know, is this the present or the past at first? Because I'm thinking this could be the past. But it crashes, and then they show Andrea and Michonne see the smoke rise. So, okay, obviously you know it's a present thing. It just happened. Andrea and Michonne head over there towards the smoke. Andrea's still sick. Her and the backpack toting zombies are hiding behind this fucking light ass fucking bush that's like anybody could fucking see through the bush, right? And Michonne walks up to the helicopter. She finds like a couple of dead guys. And she sees one guy alive, but just as she's about to go check that guy, more survivors pull up another car. So she runs back, you know, and hides because there's more survivors coming in. They don't want to be, you know, they don't want to be discovered. So they're watching these survivors come up to the helicopter. The one guy comes up, he looks at the dead guy, kills him with a knife, and I think he killed two of the dead soldiers, and then the one who lived, they took away. Now, Andrea and Michonne do not know yet that everybody is infected, so they think that this guy just killed those two. Alright, one guy was chopped in half, he was fucking dead, and as far as the show really leads you to believe, he was a zombie, his eyes were all glassed over and shit, so... You know, it doesn't really pin a bad light on the guy who on the guy who killed him of this band of new survivors. So any, anyways, Andrew and Michonne are hiding in these bushes, and all of a sudden zombies start going towards the helicopter, and like Michonne or Andrew is about to kill a zombie, but then like they decide to hide. So this zombie just walks right fucking past them and straight towards the helicopter. Which okay, that possibly could have happened because the zombie was headed towards the noise. But you just, like, you're, Andrea is there, like, fucking puking, not puking, but, like, coughing and choking and gagging. And, like, you don't smell any of that shit going on there. Like, you don't, you just walk right past that, and you're like, metal, death metal. No, no, okay. So, anyways, eventually the backpack do toting zombies that Michonne owns happen to start making some noise. So one of the guys from the, the other group is looking, they're like, oh, shit, you know. So Michonne decapitates both of her fucking zombie people. And then all of a sudden, they're just like, oh, oh, that was it. 
Huh? I guess there's nothing there. I didn't just see a sword slice off two zombie heads. <laughs> Not behind that prickly ass baby bush that anybody can see through. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, eventually Mashan and fucking Andrea do get discovered. But this whole scene is going like five, six, seven minutes. It's like, we're hiding behind the bush for seven minutes. What? Really? Really? That's not fun. That's not entertaining. It's stupid because the whole time you know that this group can see them. They're not even hiding that well. It's stupid. So anyways, they get captured and... Well, they get rescued by gunpoint by this new villain in the show who, let me let me tell you, is terrible. This whole villain, in my opinion, is a piece of trash. He's not the greatest actor. He's just horrible. The whole character written from the beginning was just a terrible character for me, in my opinion, so far. Okay, so he's gunpoint, and he's like, oh, you're really sick. Let me help you. Why don't you come to my town or whatever? So Andrea and Michonne get taken to what I call Pleasantville because it's this one area that just happens to be unaffected by all zombie outbreaks. There's a wall around the area, and that's... That's understandable, but when you have people walking around, like, everything is fucking cherry pie, like, Oh, look at me! I'm looking, look at my Calvin Klein designer clothing! What?! I'm sorry, but there's still a zombie outbreak out there! I don't care how safe this shit feels, I'm not going out like that! You need to fucking do something about that! That is so unbelievable! It's stupid! And then you got the main guy, who was the one who killed the two helicopter guys, and rescued fucking Mashan and Andrea, who's like acting like this really good guy, but the whole fucking time, we all know, he's not a good guy. And first off, what I forgot to mention is in the woods, Merle, Daryl's brother, it makes a return and he discovers Mashan and Andrea. And you see the clip from the trailer where he has his little sword hand and he's like, you know, good to see you or whatever. So at first you're like, okay, he's badass again, he's pissed off, he lost his hand. But then later on when they get to the town, like, Earl, Merle is the right-hand man of the, the, the main guy, the new villain. I don't even know his name because I don't fucking care about his name. And, like, Merle is, like, talking to Andrea and then, like, some kind of gentleman. Like, what the fuck? What, what happened to you, dude? You were fucking ballistic before you got your hand taken off, and now you're a fucking gumshoe? Like, you're just chilling? Like, oh, yeah, really? That's what happened? Oh, how's my brother? Yeah. Like, and he is worried about his brother, and that's understandable, but he's not mad. He's really not mad. And you're thinking, wait a minute. Now... Has he really made a change? Because he's with this good group? No, the whole fucking time, we all are waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was like, okay, first off, Merle is not a good guy. I don't care how the fuck they're trying to make it look now. He's not a good guy. Second off, this new fucking dipshit, like, leader of Pleasantville, is not a good guy either. And he, the whole fucking time, you read straight through his bullshit. And then, anyways, the helicopter survivor is being interviewed by Pleasant Mount Pleasantville's fucking president or whatever, I'll just say the president from now on, by the president of Pleasantville, and the the survivor, like, tells the president that, hey, you know, we have a whole platoon of people still alive, and here's where they are, and he's like, I promise you, I will find your people, and I will bring them back to you alive, nothing will stop me from saving your people, and the whole time you're like, this guy is a fucking lying piece of trash, okay, so, cut, <laughs> to the most unbelievable scene in the whole fucking episode. And just the whole, like, the cherry on the top of the fucking shit pie is just this fucking scene right here. There's a circle of trucks. Military trucks. With, like, 15, 10, I don't know, soldiers. With guns. One of them's on the roof and shit. Alright, and they're just, you know, they're just chilling, you know. They're waiting for people, but they are still in a circle. They're in a defensive position. They have an entire radius around them with which they have to patrol, okay? Here comes Mr. President driving up. Hey, we found your, you know, we found a survivor, blah, 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 blah. Boom, you're dead. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, a radius around the fucking military convoy, a bunch of civilians jump out and kill everybody. Wait. What you're trying to tell me is that a convoy, a military-grade military convoy in the midst of a zombie apocalypse has failed to see any spot in an entire circle radius around them. They didn't see anybody sneaking up. You are in a circle undefended looking for zombies and you don't see anyone. You let a band of civilians circle you and nobody saw anything. No, I can't believe that. I refuse to fucking believe that. It's the dumbest fucking shit. And then everyone dies and you're supposed to be surprised. Oh, Mr. Pleasantville, Mr. President, he's not a good guy. Really? 
Merle is his right-hand man. I'm pretty sure I knew he wasn't a good guy before you guys tried to blow my mind with some crazy shit. Well, it was stupid. It was fucking stupid. And after that commercial, I'm just like, okay, now we've seen enough. Can we at least get like 10 minutes with the group that matters in the prison? No. Flashback to the fucking show again. To the same shit with Michonne and Andrea in town. Going with this bullshit, fake-ass, garbage-ass storyline. And the episode ends with Mr. Pleasantville President going into a dark office. Oh. And he looks up and his fish tank is full of zombie heads. And then the head of the surviving helicopter pilot. Oh, I'm scared now. This guy's badass. Oh, he's got heads in a fish tank. Oh, be scared. Be very scared. I'm not scared. I'm pissed off. This is stupid shit. Don't ever, ever give me another hour of these fucking idiots again. I am sorry. I don't want to see them. Yes, I like them, but I don't want to see them for an hour. I don't wait to see them for an hour. I don't watch this show to find out what the fuck they're doing. If you really care enough about these characters, put them in there for a few minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Even if you have to go 20 minutes to get your point across, do that. But do not dedicate an entire episode to those two characters alone. Because most of the people who watch that show would rather see the other group. So whatever you're doing, you're doing it wrong right now. You have 16 episodes to make this the best season ever and to take this show to the next level. And what you have done with episode 3 has totally fucked the first two episodes. We are not waiting a week to see that shit. We are waiting a week to see what's going on with Rick, with Lori, with those motherfuckers, how Herschel's doing, how everybody over there is doing. And if you want to, to show us what Michonne and Andrew are doing, get them motherfuckers to the prison. This is Swift, and I've had enough. Week four, you better fucking give me what I want. Peace.